In this video, we're going to export from 3D Studio Max, and we're gonna export also using V-Ray for 3D Studio Max. So we're gonna import InVantage, what we will export it from here. So we will do a couple of examples, a couple of tests. We will use the FBX format. So right now I'm exporting the whole scene here as a FBX format, and I'm, I'm gonna name it. And this is good. this is the 14 lesson of the V-Ray for 3D Studio Max video course. So this is the name that I'm, I'm going to give. And if you're interested, you can check the V-Ray for 3D Studio Max video course in the channel as well as the 3D Studio Max video course. So we're going to select here what we want to export and what we don't. So you can choose if you want to export geometry whether if you want to use smoothing groups or turbo smooth for smooth objects and um, well other effects that you may want to export. You can try to export animation even though in this particular case with Vantage we cannot export um, the whole animations. Perhaps some of those that we can create with V-Ray for 3D Studio Max we can export it. And so you have a bunch of options here. You can go there. I'm just showing you how I have set up this. This this is um, binary type, and also you have different um, versions. But try with the with these settings. So you say OK, and then you're ready. You are exporting your scene. Now, not all of the tools that you use in 3D Studio Max and also in V-Ray will be available in Vantage. So it's only some of those. And also materials, they, they will not be compatible if they are not V-Ray materials. And also an, an important thing is textures. Try to keep the textures next to the project. So I'm gonna import here in Vantage and do a first test. So I will use the file that I've just exported and here we can choose if you want to import cameras, lights, geometry, and materials. Now, cameras can be used also for animation in Vantage. That's the camera animation that you can do in Vantage. And of course, this is just going to be an introduction. So if you're interested in Vantage, just check the Vantage video course. Now, we're going to go in the object panel at the right. And you can see, we, we cannot see anything here. It's total black. So probably we are inside a geometry. So let's go to view and do frame selection or scene. So it's gonna show you the whole scene that you have imported. And you can see it looks fine. So geometries are fine, smoothing groups, smooth objects look fine, but there are some missing materials, missing textures and missing stuff in general. But it's a good starting point. You can start from here and continue in Vantage to add characters, vehicles, trees, vegetation, and materials. You can really do everything in Vantage except manage the scene or like create objects or uh, deform objects, create complex animations. You cannot do that. What you can do in Vantage is actually activate the collisions and the first person. And you can move around interactively. You can interact with your scene. You can explore it just like if you are inside. So it's a good like interactive and uh, immersive simulation of what your architecture will be. I think it's, a, it's an excellent tool. Vantage is really easy to use and really fast. So let's try with another example, another test. And here we're going to export everything by selecting and right-clicking, and we're gonna use the VR Scene Exporter, which is another tool from V-Ray. And V-Ray and Vantage are from the same producer, so they they share a lot of similar functionalities, like Chaos Cosmos for, for the libraries of objects and vehicles and so on. So I'm gonna export here, and again, try to export as much as I can, so I will try to export. You can use also only the selection, or you can export all, you can separate files. So you have many options here as well, if you want to experiment a little bit. But I will try to export everything. You can also export in a zip file, but 
I will export on a simple file. And also try again to export some animation from V-Ray for 3ds Max. Now I'm gonna export and this time I'm gonna call it lesson 14 VR scene and then import it into Vantage. Now let's see what's gonna happen here. Let's do again frame selected and scene. Now the first thing we can see is that we have like a really bright scene and this is because we have lights. This is uh, something that we didn't have with the FBX. So because we used V-Ray lights in the 3D Studio Max application, we use V-Ray and V-Ray lights. Now also these will be imported when you use a VR scene. So this is an advantage when you import from VR scene instead of a simple FBX. You can use the sunlight, you can use artificial lights, the, the, the sky. Well, you can also do that in uh, Vantage. But you can see here we have materials, we have like glass materials, and metals. We are missing textures. So all those black materials right there are just missing textures. So be careful where you place your textures. Otherwise, you need to re-import correctly. But we can create materials, no problem, in Vantage using the libraries from Chaos Cosmos. And again, this is just a quick introduction for you. Now we can see it looks better also in the lining and also we have cameras there on the left. So in general, it's better to use VR scenes instead of FBX. And you can see here all the cameras needs to be set up in terms of rotation also sometimes and in terms of exposure. So you need to fix the exposure depending on if you are in a, on an interior or on an exterior scene. But everything is there, geometry is there, everything can be used now to create our scene here in Vantage. And again, if you're interested, check the other video courses. This will be all for this video guide. Please subscribe to the channel and if you want to show us a little bit of support, you can join the channel as a supporter. Write your questions, write suggestions for other users. Thanks for watching, see you in the next.